Auzu billahi min ash-shaitani rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. So today we are going to talk about uh, the online uh, recorded lecture number 10. This is for to be discussed in the interactive session on the May 6th, 2020. And uh, as we started the new chapter in the last lecture about animal biotechnology, and uh, we studied, we had a lecture on cell culture and different techniques and different requirements for cell cultures. Mostly we emphasized on mammalian culture and uh, microbial cultures because in plant biotechnology chapter, we already discussed about what are the basic requirements for plant cultures. And moving forward in the animal biotechnology chapter, today we are going to discuss about transgenic animals and how can we produce transgenic animals. For example, you could see in this image with this, mouse having glowing green eyes in which uh, a green fluorescent protein has been cloned into his eyes and there you could see a super strong cow with the dna inserted into it so it's a transgenic cow uh, transgenic animals are those animals to which a foreign piece of dna has been inserted which we call a foreign gene or in our case, gene of interest has been introduced or engineered into its germline. Uh, sometimes transgenic animals can be confused with knockout animals. Knockout animals are also produced by molecular biology techniques, but those are a little different. Knockout animals are those where specific genes have been disrupted and then they lead to a loss of function, whereas in transgenic animals, we add a certain new piece of DNA for some extra features in an organism. Not in an organism, but uh, specifically talking about animals, so animals. Then once uh, we have produced a transgenic animal, we can breed it so that uh, it can be propagated. I mean, if we produce just one animal, that's not enough. The animal should be bred with other partners so that they can give to offsprings and then those offsprings can produce more offspring so that the benefit or the beneficial gene insertion and integration through transgenics go on and carry on through from generation to generation and the traits that we have introduced into these animals pass on. Okay, so why is transgenic uh, animals, why are transgenic animals important? They are used for basically to study the biological function of a number of specific genes, uh, to build and design and develop animal models for diseases, human diseases. Similarly, also animal diseases because animals play a wider role in the livestock to the, in the agriculture sector, as well as to produce therapeutic products. We will see which kind of products and how can we produce in the a glimpse will be shown in this lecture and in the industrial biotechnology we will study it in some detail and for therapeutic products and vaccines for biological and for biological screening so uh, this is another aspect which we can use transgenic animals normally they are either uh, developed in a lab when we talk about lab then we talk about <clears throat> small animals mice for example zebra fish <clears throat> and uh, for R&D for research and development purposes from huge institutes they are really scientifically and academically independent and or big commercial firms companies they produce it for products but they always need uh, approval from appropriate competent authorities because you cannot do it without them when we talk about eukaryotic uh, organisms <clears throat> 